think identity politics can, as history has proven, undoubtedly be, be used as a tool for social justice. Um, you know, if one particular group, identitarian group in society is facing barriers or obstacles or issues, we'll take the example of black people in America, since we were speaking of BLM in America, you know, the laws that were passed, the Civil Rights Act and le legislation that were passed were inherently identity political because they were passed to equalize society for people that face disadvantages because of their identity. So I think it can kickstart very useful conversations as to the barriers and issues faced because of identity. And as Sisiana drew on, you know, many communities throughout the world have bodies, organizations and uh, kind of political groups that they establish to represent their communities, to lobby the government, to introduce things that are good for their communities. So identity politics, I think, is inherent and it's apparent within our society. But to speak to the title, of this discussion i definitely think there is um there are occasions where it can outstretch itself and go too far and because all in all uh, you know you, although identity politics allows us to address issues faced by some people because of their identity i think a unified approach in tackling issues is inherently better uh, as sandrine said racism discrimination is not only a, a, an issue that affects one particular community, it affects a lot of other people. So we need to fight issues that one community faces when it comes to discrimination, for example, but allow our efforts to bleed into other communities and bleed into efforts to fight the issues that they face because of their identity. So I think opening up our perspective is very important when it comes to identity politics.